So I just watched this video, uh, Chris Norland, and um, <laughs> it's, uh, okay, this is a guy who obviously does not understand at all why we are invested in AMC. He's merely looking at this as, you know, a movie theater company that's dying and fundament fundamentally is worth $5 a share and, you know, that's it. You know, he's not... Forget about, you know, what we're trying to do here as a movement, how this is a David and Goliath story, how we're taking on the corrupt hedge funds who have been cheating Wall Street forever. Okay, we're taking them on because we're on to what they've been doing. See, there's something called naked shorting, if you don't know, if you're maybe new to, to my channel, and I'm trying to expose it. What it is, is, is that the hedge funds use shares that don't exist. They're called synthetic shares. Fagazi, you know, like the movie, uh, you ever see Donnie Brasco, where, where Lefty said, listen, I want you to pour on a Tiffany diamond for me. He's like, on my end, I just want a cheese. And then he said, well, listen, you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. I got a wife. You got a wife? Well, give, give this to your wife. Because this is a Fagazi. He goes, I know what if you looked at it for two seconds, I do know it's a fakazi, okay? So <laughs> that's what the hedge funds are doing. They're using fake shares to drive the stock down, okay? And the thing is, it's basically promissory notes that if they succeed in their goal, which is to make AMC bankrupt, they don't have to, they, they, they uh, evaporate. They don't have to pay them back. And they make, you know, tremendous, tremendous profits, billions and billions of dollars. And all of these evaporate and they don't know nothing. And that's exactly what, you know, the goal the goal of the hedge fund is, is to wipe out AMC, to put it into bankruptcy. Now, the thing is, there's major, tremendous risk. And this is what Chris Norlin doesn't understand when you're using these fake shares, these fake synthetic shares. First of all, no one knows how many they're using. There is speculation, okay, that there could be in the hundreds of billions of fake shares to possibly trillions, okay? So the thing is, if there is a forced margin call, these shares, okay, are now going to be something <laughs> that we are going to set the price with because they got to buy it back. They're going to have to, we have to sell, you understand, in order for them to, to close their short positions. Now, the thing you, that, that this guy doesn't understand is that supply and demand will now take effect. And if we're not selling, in theory, the price of AMC could go to levels that Wall Street have, has never seen before. So he's talking about AMC in a way where it's just a stock, it's a dying movie company, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's billions in debt, fundamentally worth $5. That's it. So that's the way he's explained. Now, if if you're looking at it through his eyes, the, the last place in the world you're going to want to invest is AMC, right? But if you just heard what I said and you're understanding what we're doing here in terms of our movement, taking on these corrupt hedge funds that have been cheating Wall Street forever and, and you're know, giving it back to them because we want what's called a transfer of wealth which is called the MOAS, mother of all short squeezes. We want to become the new 1%. We want to bankrupt Citadel. You understand? So the same goal they have, we have, but it's only in reverse. We want to take them out. Okay. So that's what we're doing. All right, Chris Nolan. So, you know, do me a favor. No offense to you personally, but if you can't explain it right, don't explain it. Don't explain it at all. Okay, because, you know, it's just not a fair assessment. What you're saying is not fair. You're leaving out everything we're doing here. You know what I mean? And we're not investing at AMC for its fundamental value. We're not investing at AMC because it's a movie theater company. You're friggin' Momo, you're friggin' Mama Luke Stunad. Okay, you coconut. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're investing in it because it's a movement. Okay. Get it straight. Now, as far as you not liking Lou, that part I can't blame blame you on. <laughs> so I, can't, I have no argument against that. Listen, that guy's the biggest cop man that has ever like probably existed on earth. Okay. So I got nothing to say about that, but I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. AMC to Pluto.